hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is esther and this is qs fashion hub if this is your first time of stopping by you're welcome and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back to watch my videos in this in today's tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how to make a school uniform short like some people call it a short knicker some people call it short and some people call it pants short pants so right yes it's correct so Today I'm working with a length of 16 inches. I'm working with a tie of 18 inches, the hip of 28 inches. So let's go straight to the cutting of this shirt. So here I will be taking my crotch. My crotch measurement is um I will be using eight inches for the crotch, but because I'm I'm adding one inch band to the waistline i'm going to be subtracting one inch from from it so i'm going to be taking seven inch instead of seven inches instead of eight inches because i'll be adding band one inch band to to the waistline so to get your crotch what i did here was to divide my hip by 28 i'm working with the hip of 28 28 divided by four is seven inches plus one inch you know it's a short for a boy so it had to be free at the crotch so that the, the boy will be able to walk freely so that's how i got my eight inches for the crotch so right now i'm taking seven inches for the crotch minus that's it, eight minus one seven but i'm going to add half inch to it because you know we're going to be joining it to the band which is the waist so i'm going to be taking seven and half here for the crotch so this is me marking seven and a half right here. So I'm just going to mark seven and a half all through and I'm going to connect my lines together with my ruler. So right here, I'm connecting my lines together. So because this, this part is, this short is going to be having elastic band at the back. But the front is not going to have elastic band. So I'm going to be using the hip measurement instead of the waist measurement at this waistline. Is I'll be dividing the hip by four to get the span. So right here, I'll divide the hip I'm working with is 28 divided by four. That is um seven inches. So I'm just going to mark seven inches here. Right here, seven inches. And I also mark seven inches here. If you can see what I'm doing, seven. This is it. So I'll come to this crotch line. I'm working with a tie of 18 inches. So I'm going to mark 18 inches here. 18 divided by 2. That is 9 inches. You remember I said in my previous video that the tie is always divided by 2, not 4. So right here, here is 7. And here is 9 which is tied divided by two. So what I'm going to do is that I'll go ahead and connect this line here like this, straight. And I will use my, my French curve like this and connect the lines together like this. So I just connect my line. But because it's a short, it's not going to be fitted at the bottom. This is the um, 16 inches for the length. Hope you can see 16 this is it 16 and i added two inches allowance for for the m line so that's 18 all together so i'm going to come here like this and take that same nine inches i see for the crotch line so i'm going to connect the lines all the way like so you can take nine inches, you can take eight and a half. So right here, let's just make it eight and a half instead of nine inches, like so. So I'm just going to connect the lines together, like so. It's going to come down, like so. That means I just subtracted just half an inch from it. So this is the front pattern. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out. But before I cut it out, remember the waistline. Okay, so for the waistline, I'm going to come down because the waist is not straight. I'm going to come down by half an inch from this part here, like so. And I'm going to connect it to this part just to create that curve effect that is at the waist to make the waist sit properly uh, at 
the way so to make it sit properly so right here i'm just going to go ahead and and cut the first panel out so so before i actually cut it out like this um the 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 shirt is going to have side pockets so i'll come here like this and take two inches inward like this two inches so i'll come down by five inches like this five inches to create that pocket slant so this is it i'll just come down like this and draw it cut with my ruler and i'll create the pocket so while i'm done cutting i'll use this to cut out the front pan the back panel sorry i'll use this to cut out the back panel but i'm going to notch this part so that i will know that this is the pocket opening right here so i'm going to go ahead and cut it out like like so So I'm done cutting out the the front pattern. This is this is it. This is the front pattern. So right here, I'm placing the front on the back. I'm not going to be cutting out this pocket um, opening. I'm going to be folding it in. The, by the time I'm sewing it like like this, so I'm going to be folding it in. So this is it. So what I'm going to do now? Remember the the, the back is always bigger than the front. So right here on the crotch line. I'm going to be adding two inches to the crotch line, like so, two inches. So the M, uh, M line, sorry, I'm adding one and a half inches to it. So to so this upper part here, the waistline here, here, I'm adding one inch. This is it, one inch to it, like this. So right here you remember i i had to reduce the waistline by half an inch at the front so for the back i'm going to be increasing it by one inch you can decide to increase it by one and a half even so people go as high as two inches to increase it but i'm going to be working with just one inch here so right here i'm going to be marking out the one inch here so i'm just going to connect this line like so like this hope you can see what i'm doing so you make sure that this crotch here is meeting this crotch the front crotch so you come like this like this come like this so it's like a little bit curvy like this so you come and connect like this together curvy like this so you come this way. You can start to use your ruler to, to connect this part. And if your hand is straight, why not? You can also use your hand. So connect to the end like this. So this is the, the front, the back. Like this, this is the front and this is the back. Some people can even go by extension of two and a half but i'm using two inch two inches is perfect it's okay so right here i'm going to go ahead and connect this line to this part let me extend this extend it by one inch like this so i'm just going to go ahead and connect this part to this part like this like this yeah this is it so right here remember i used seven inches for this waistline here so i'm going to be this is seven it has to be equal seven plus one at the bad that's eight so this is it eight here so this is where it should be so right now i'm going to go ahead and cut it out like so sorry so i just cut it out for sorry i have to explain this for this back i'm going to make sure that this side is okay i'm not adding allowance to this back so it's going to be equal like i'm cutting off this part like so the allowance i'm adding is just at this side hope you understand so i'll just cut it out now i'm cutting the pocket the pocket is going to be just one this is for both part both sides sorry i'm folding it in two like this 
so the i'm working with the length of nine inches nine inches this is it nine inches by five and half this is it so this is this one that i'm cutting is for both sides so right here i have nine inches by five so what i'm going to do here is just to create a curve i can decide to come by one and a half inch one and a half or even two well i think one one and a half is is just okay it's okay so right here i'm just going to connect like this to create that curve effect like this so the side of okay i'm just going to grab my scissors and and cut it out like this So I'm just going to cut it out like this, like this. So if you want to see the sewing of this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and stay tuned to this channel. I will be uploading the sewing parts of this this shirt. If you also want to see the sewing part, you can drop a comment for me on the comment section. Okay, right here I already cut out the pocket so i'm going to split it open like this into two because it's for both sides so i'm going to split it open like this like this and make sure you educate the back this is the back of the material because the front and the back are not this the difference is not really much so that you're not be confused so this is how it's going to look I don't want to cut out this part. So by the time we fold in this this two inches that we we chuck the other time, fold it in like this. So it's going to be undone it like this. So hope you can see this is how it's going to look by the time we are done joining it like this, something like this. This is how it's going to look like. Sorry. It's going to be like this. When you are done drawing. Hope you can see it. So this is how it's going to be. Now moving to the band. The waistband. Yeah, I'm going to be cutting at excess fabric. Excess fabric. So it's better it's longer than for it not to be enough. So I'm going to cut out excess fabric. Once it is, I get what I needed for it. What I need for it, I will trim it out. So right here I have 19 inches on foot. This is much though. So now my remember I said the, the the waistband I subtracted was one inch. So right here I have three inches. I have three inches because you know we are going to be folding it. It's going to be on foot like this. Like this. So I'm adding one inch for it. For I will, I will iron this part in, iron half inch in. So I'll be left with just one inch like this. So this is three inches. By the time we fold, it's going to be 1.5 inches, half inch for the seam allowance. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out like this straight strip. Remember I said that the shorts is going to be having an elastic band at the back. But at the front, it's not going to be having an elastic band. So, so this is it. So I'll just cut it out like this. And... I'll do the same to the side. So if this video has been helpful to you, please hit the subscribe button, touch that button, and drop a comment for me. Drop a comment and subscribe to this channel. My name is Esther and this is QS Fashion of here we do fashion, 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 and fashion and fashion and fashion. <laughs> Sorry guys, so this is it. I'm done cutting. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out like so. Yeah. This is it. So this is what I'm going to be using for the waistband. So thank you guys for watching. My name is Esther and this is QS Fashion Up. Don't stop learning. Keep learning. See you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye. The sewing part. Keep watching. Bye.